but this is fifty dollars a piece. It was three hundred dollars worth of shipping. So the best thing to do just get uh go with half for somebody or just buy a huge amount. So me and my brother we bought eight. So I get a, a thousand watts. He get a thousand watts, and we basically paid four hundred dollars for a thousand watts. The reason why that's important, um, Amazon has their best deals like a hundred dollars, well like eighty dollars for a hundred watts. Um, so it's almost a dollar a watt. With this, you get a thousand watts for four hundred dollars. Uh, so that's twenty five cent a watt. So okay, my next project, I'm trying to post this with these solar panels. I'm just gonna use three seven fifty. Like I said, I'm just trying to power my basement. We spend most of our time in our family room in the basement. All right. Uh, then had those rails. So I'm trying to do this on the budget. These was uh, three fifty a piece studs. So that's three. That's four. I'm sorry. Uh, then there was about another four right there. So that's eight. And then I, I bought a couple of two by fours. I mean four by fours. I just bought two of those, and maybe eight dollars a piece. So I only got 750 worth of panels up now, but I raised them up. And since I raised them up, I'm still getting fast 60 down. It's midday right now. It's about uh, 1.30, 1.30 p.m. So that's the reason why we had that much. See, that first hooked up didn't quite work for me. See, the problem is I have the Xbox and the PlayStation running at the same time. They both pull over 800 watts. Uh, over the course of a day, once we, once the sun goes down, we continue to play the video games with the TV. TV is another 100 watts, uh, roughly, if you round it up with the modem and the router. So I'm pulling roughly 1,000 watts uh, constantly. Now, if we allow our children to play from about 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, that's uh, two hours of 1,000 watts continuously coming from the Blue Eddy. So I ran into an issue. Uh, I had a limitation of uh, 2,000 watts in that system. Therefore, I decided to go the modular route. So later on, you're going to see me move from the Blue Eddy and, and add the modular batteries. Well, I ordered these. I actually went on several websites that had these huge um, 48 by 100 uh, volt kits and they were sold out, stuck in customs. But then I came across Emperor Time, not endorsed, but I saw it on Amazon, and they actually had some in stock, and they only have a four to five day wait. So I ordered this last week. I canceled my orders at the other companies. So I won't dog them out because I understand things is crazy for everyone. Um, but I went to Emperor Time, and I found out these batteries was half the cost. If you can zoom in, two 12 volt, 200 amp batteries for half the price. I thought that was amazing. Look at this, it's cased in plastic. It looks beautiful. So, we're gonna see how this works. I got two of them. I'm gonna run them in series. So that's doubling the voltage to 24 volts. That's 24 volts, 200 amp hours. So if you calculate that, it's a little bit over 24 uh, volts. Fully charged, it'd be about 25 volts. So that's 25 times 200. Y'all can do the math. That is five kilowatts of energy. That's amazing. This stuff. My son told me to record this. I didn't even think about that because I was watching YouTube videos to learn how. So right now I'm trying to chain these together and I'm gonna put them inside this gang here. So then, so now I got the neutral. Neutral go into the, um, I guess the chrome looking stuff. It's into the chrome one. And so I'm connecting these neutrals together. And, and which one is I got neutral the, again? Neutral is the uh, white. And the white is going to the chrome. Now I got my uh, fire or the um, the positive. I guess I'm supposed to call it the fire wire. That's this black one, and I got this going into. Uh, I got this going into the brass. So how I try to remember black and brass, black brass. And I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna chain this over to this uh, brass here. I'm hoping that's sufficient. I can close this up because I'm not going to use this. I'm done. If I close that up. These cost 68 cents. I was telling my son, 
when he get older, he can have people go himself. He could either choose to go get a cheeseburger or he could make an outlet. <laughs> stuff like that. You gotta think about, you know, save some money, learn how to do this stuff. And then to be safe, let's, let's tighten up the ones we don't need. Well, we gonna need that. So that's gonna be the positive. I mean, that's gonna be the neutral. And that's going to be the um, fire that's coming in. All right, y'all. I hope this works out. I got the grow watt hooked up. These are two 200 amp hour batteries, 12 volt. Got them wired in series. So that's 25 volts. 25 times 200. That is five over five thousand watts that's five kilowatts uh looking at look at that i got all my systems hooked up or be hooked up next to my modem all this stuff running plus my printer and right now I got it hooked up to the utility so i got solar first then battery then utility so all those things hooked up going in. And if you look at the load, it's only 12%. It's a 3000 watt uh, inverter. So I'm gonna use 15% of that, which is, uh, go one more, 462 watts. 462 watts. That's awesome. Okay, let's see, it's been a few weeks now. Like I said, you got the modem, the router, the printer, system set up, TV going through the wall. Um, and what I did, I added a uh, refrigerator. And this cord, this orange cord here, is going to the outside and going through the back of the house to the refrigerator outside. So I'm powering up our extra fridge, all using this uh, five kilowatts of batteries, these two 12 volt. Uh, if you wanna look at the thing, um, right now it's almost midnight. So this has been, and it's October 1st. So this has been running off of battery power. Uh, right now we stay at 25.6 give you an idea uh, it says midnight so zero zero voltage zero amperage amperage I'm sorry um, now let's look here if you look here it's only 2.6 percent low uh, the TV is off only thing that's going right now is our internet devices uh, which is the modem and the router and the outdoor fridge uh, also, that's a total of 59 watts. Uh, as you know, the, with the fridge, uh, the compressor comes on occasionally uh, to keep the fridge cool. Uh, bad being in a garage, we don't open it often. Uh, so it's, it's pretty low power to begin with. It's an energy efficient fridge. And um, by it being midnight, it's pretty cool outside in October. So uh, it's not drawing much wattage. You can see it's starting to cool up now as we speak. but. That's still, that's little to no wattage. Uh, you still got ghost charges. Like this is the hard drive to go to the Xbox, the external hard drive. Uh, I believe this is still charging. So yeah, that's, so it's, a, it's ghost charging through these devices, but at this point it's negligible. Um, so good to go. And since I added the fridge to the inverter, I decided to Add the extra solar panel, so now I have a thousand watts coming in, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, I never get a thousand totally, but I get close to it, uh, so it's working out pretty good. Hope to give you updates soon, and hopefully I can show you some savings on my bill. We'll see. I haven't seen it yet with the air conditioning. All right, take care. God bless.